Hello and welcome. My name is Faye and today you are here for a good morning 45 minute stretch and breathe yoga class. If you're new here, we move pretty slow. It's pretty relaxed and gentle stretching, but I always encourage you to listen to your body. So if at any point I offer something that doesn't feel right for you, feel free to skip or modify or do something completely different. It's perfectly fine. I'm only here as a guide. And again, We'll be keeping things pretty gentle. We'll start out on the ground, do some stuff on our hands and knees, then make our way upright for some standing stretches and movements, and then come right back down to the ground for more stretching, relaxing, and a little short shavasana at the end. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's come to hands and knees on all four position. Separate your knees a little bit wider than your hips and bring your big toes to kiss. Send your hips back towards your heels and allow your hands to walk out long and allow your forehead to relax towards the mat. If you'd like, you could always have a blanket or a block here to support your head to bring your a little bit closer. And your elbows can have a soft bend in them to allow your shoulders to relax. Or you could bring them alongside your body if that would feel more comfortable for your shoulders this morning. Wherever you are, take a nice slow and steady breath in through your nose. And then open your mouth, exhale, gush out all the air. Let's do that one more time together. Take a nice slow and deep breath in through your nose, fill all the way up. And then open your mouth, exhale, gush out all the air, let it go. Good, allow your eyes to soften down or fully close if they haven't already. Seal your lips and continue to breathe in and out through your nose. Notice if you can breathe three-dimensionally. So breathe in front to back and side to side. And then breathe out. Release the air side to side and front to back. Allow yourself to feel heavier, to feel more supported by the ground today. Gently begin to scan your body from head to toe, noticing any areas of tension or tightness. And if or when you come across something that feels a little tense, that feels a little tight, see if you can invite in a little softness, a little ease. If you'd like to set an intention for your practice, a quality or mindset you'd like to embody as you move on your mat today, I encourage you to do so now. Perhaps it's practicing simply just being present, or perhaps you want to develop your strength, compassion, kindness, peace, calm, whatever it is. Breathe in your intention, allowing it to fill your entire body and breathe out your intention, allowing it to fill your entire space all around you. Take one more nice, slow and steady breath in. And exhale, let it go. If your hands are alongside your body, go ahead and return them to the front. Inhale, shift your weight forward onto your hands and knees. Bring your wrists right underneath your shoulders and your knees right underneath your hips. Inhale, tuck your toes, drop your belly, look forward for your cow. And then exhale, release your feet flat to the mat. Tuck your chin to your chest as you round through your back. Good. Inhale, tuck your toes. Pull your heart through your arms as you look forward. Create that arch in your back. And then exhale, release your feet flat. Push into your hands, round through your back. Good, inhale, tuck your toes, drop your belly, look forward. And then exhale, release your toes flat. And tuck your chin to your chest for your cat. Good, find a couple more rounds of this cat and cow. 
at your own pace and at your own breath. You're welcome to hold one shape if that would feel better or feel nice for you. Or at any point, you're welcome to add in some organic movement that might feel nice. Perhaps you want to start to rock your hips from side to side or sink your hips back towards your heels and start to make some sort of torso or barrel rolls with your body in one direction. And if you're doing one thing on one side, be sure to switch directions and even yourself out. And of course, if you want to stay with your cat and cow, that's perfectly fine. Take one more slow and steady breath wherever you are. And exhale, let it go. Return back to your neutral spine. Walk your right hand forward about one handprint or two inches in front of your shoulder. Inhale, sweep your left hand to the sky, twist to your left, and then exhale, thread your left hand behind your right, let your shoulder hover off of the ground. Inhale, reach your arm back up to the sky, and then exhale, thread your left behind your right, let your shoulder hover. One more time, inhale, reach up, and then exhale, thread it through, and allow your shoulder to relax down onto the mat. Relax the side of your head. Your right hand can come in front of your face or walk out long towards the front of your mat or take a bind behind your low back if that feels good. Or if you'd like to add a little bit more active shoulder stretch, you could always take your right hand to your left wrist and very gently just pull on your left wrist a little bit. Wherever you are, Relax and soften your face. Invite ease into your jaw, your back body. Good. Take one more slow and steady breath here. And exhale, let it go. Return your right hand back in front of your face if you moved it. Inhale, push into your right hand. Sweep your left hand to the sky. And exhale, float your hand back down to the mat. Good. Return your right hand underneath your shoulder. This time, walk your left hand two inches forward or about one hand print forward. Good, or excuse me, walk your right hand about two inches or one shoulder print forward. In, actually just kidding, we just did that side. Uh, sorry, walk your left hand about two inches forward of your shoulder. Inhale, sweep your right hand to the sky, open up. And then exhale, thread your arm behind your left, allow your shoulder to hover. Inhale, sweep your right hand back to the sky. And then exhale, thread it behind your left arm, let your shoulder hover. Inhale, reach back up to the sky, open up. And exhale, thread it behind your left arm and allow your shoulder and the side of your head onto the ground of your face, walks out long towards the front of your mat, or take that bind behind your low back, come, come into the hip crease of your right hip, or you can add that little bit more shoulder stretch by taking your left on your right wrist to create the space between your shoulder blades, feel perhaps just a little more sensation in this twist. Relax your jaw, relax your eyebrows. Good, take one more slow and steady breath wherever you are. And exhale, let it go. Return your left hand back in front of your face. Inhale, push into your left hand. Sweep your right hand to the sky, twist open. And then exhale, plant both hands flat onto your mat. Good. Your knees are right underneath your hips, your wrists are underneath your shoulders. Inhale, extend your left leg long behind you, toes are on the ground. Inhale, shift forward to the weight in your hands. And then exhale, press into the ball mound of your left foot. See if you can draw your heel closer towards the ground. Feel a nice stretch in the back of your leg. 
Good. Inhale, shift forward so that your wrists are underneath your shoulders. Exhale, pick up your left leg and cross it over to the right as you start to peek over your right shoulder back towards your foot. Good. Keep in your twist. Inhale, bring your gaze forward. Exhale, bend to look over your right shoulder. Good. Inhale, look center. And exhale, bend to look back over your right shoulder. One more time. Inhale, look center. And exhale, bend to look back over your right shoulder. Feel the stretch in your left side body. Relax your neck. Relax your jaw. See if you can press your low back up to the ceiling. Good. Inhale, look center. Exhale, uncross your legs. Inhale, tuck your toes, drop your belly, look forward for your cow. And then exhale, release your feet, press into your hands around through your back. Good. Inhale, back to your neutral spine. Exhale, extend your right leg long this time, toes are on the ground. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, press your big ball mound of your right foot into the mat as you draw your heel closer to the ground. Inhale, shift your weight back into your hands. Exhale, pick up your right leg and cross it over towards your left. <sighs> Inhale, look forward. And then exhale, start to peek over your left shoulder back towards your right foot. <sighs> Good. Keep in your twist. Inhale, bring your gaze forward. And then exhale, bend as you look back over your left shoulder. <sighs> Good. Inhale, look center. And then exhale, bend, look over your left shoulder, back towards your foot. One more time. Inhale, look center. And then exhale, bend to look over your left shoulder, back towards your foot. See if you can press your low back up to the ceiling. Breathe into your side body. Good. Inhale, look center. Exhale, pick up your right leg and return it underneath your hips. Good. Inhale, start to walk your hands forward to the top of your space. Continue to keep your knees stacked right underneath your hips. You're welcome to place a block here underneath the forehead and allow your head to be supported or it can touch the mat. Or if for more support, you could always bend your forearms here and walk them out forward for a modified puppy. Wherever you are, see if you can allow your belly to soften. Relax and calm your face. Breathe into those areas that feel a little tense or tight. And always, of course, choose an option that feels supportive for you today. So you may not be with your arms extended in your puppy. You may also have your one arm bent or the both arms bent. Or you could always send your hips back to your heels for your child's pose. Good. Take one more slow and steady breath wherever you are. And exhale, let it go. Good. Inhale very slowly. Start to push yourself back upright onto your hands and knees. Inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, lift your knees off the ground just one inch. Let your knees hover. Your fingers are spread wide and you're pressing into all 10 finger pads. You create a dome-like shape with your upper back by pushing into the ground. Good. Release your knees back down to the ground. Release your toes. Bring your big toes to kiss behind you. Send your hips towards your heels, child's pose. Inhale, come up onto your fingertips like you're holding half a grapefruit. And then walk your hands over to the right as you press your hips towards your heels and breathe into your left side body. Good. Inhale, return your back to center. And then exhale, walk your hands over to your left. Take a breath in into your right side body, create space between your rib cage. And then exhale, sink your heels, your hips a little bit closer towards your heels. Take one more slow and steady breath here. 
And exhale, return your hands back to center. Good. Inhale, return yourself back onto your hands and knees. Wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Your fingers are spread wide like a starfish. You're pressing into all 10 finger pads and the base of your uh, palm. Inhale, tuck your toes. And exhale, start to send your hips up towards the sky as you straighten your legs any amount. This is your downward facing dog, this upside down V shape. If it feels good, bend your right knee, straighten out your left. And switch, bend your left knee, straighten out your right. Switch one more time. And switch again. Good. You're welcome to continue to pedal out the feet here if that feels nice for you in your down dog, or you can hold static as you start to lift your tailbone a little bit higher towards the sky and melt your chest closer towards your thighs. You can always take a soft bend in your knees here. If you're pedaling out your feet, return back to stillness. Inhale, look forward to the top of your hands. Exhale, walk your feet forward to your space, to your hands. Inhale, draw your hands onto your shins or onto blocks. Halfway lift, so your gaze is down at the ground. You have a nice long spine. Exhale, bend your knees and fold forward over your legs. Let's do that again. Inhale, draw your hands up to your shins. Press your tailbone back, lengthen out through your back. Exhale, bend your knees generously. Allow your belly to relax onto your thighs. Your gaze is in between your legs. Good. Inhale, slowly start to rise all the way up. You can trace your hands along your body as your head comes up last. And when you arrive, Exhale, roll your shoulders down and away from your ears. Good. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. Bring your arms out to a T, soft bend in your knees as you forward fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, press into your feet like you're about to lift something heavy and sweep your arms out to the side, look up. And then exhale, draw your hands through heart center. Nice. Separate your feet so that they are hip width distance apart or wherever most comfortable for you. Interlace your last three fingers and your pointer finger and your thumb stick up. Think Charlie's Angels. Inhale, shoot your hands up to the sky. And exhale, side bend over to your right. Keep grounded in both feet. Inhale, bring yourself back to center. And exhale, bend to your left. Inhale to center. And exhale, bend to your right. Inhale, back to center. And then exhale, bend to your left. Feel the nice stretch in your side body. Good. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release your hands down to your low back. Inhale, gently press your hips forward, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, squeeze your elbows together as your gaze goes up towards the feeling. Little baby back bend here. Take one more breath here. And then exhale, slide your hands down the back of your leg, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, fold. Plant your hands down to the mat. Step back to a plank, top of a push-up. Option to lower your knees here. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, bend your elbows, keep them close to the body as you lower all the way down towards the ground. Relax your forehead onto the mat. Your hands are right underneath your shoulders. Ground down through the tops of your feet so they press into the mat and your kneecaps will lift. Keep your hips active and press them down into the mat as well. Inhale, lift your gaze and your heart off of the mat. Little weight is in your hands, so you should be able to lift them up. And then exhale, relax your face and forehead back down to the mat. You're welcome to repeat that again. Or draw your hands to your lower ribs. Inhale, squeeze your elbows together. And then exhale, relax your face, relax your shoulders. Good. Inhale, push into your hands and start to press yourself up to cobra. Or you can lift your knees off of the ground for upward facing dog. Wherever you are, lower your knees back down to the ground. Return to your tabletop shape. 
Inhale, tuck your toes. And exhale, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, sweep your right leg to the sky. And then exhale, step your right foot forward in between your hands, closer to your right hand. You might want to separate your feet so that they are on mini railroad tracks or skis, so you have some more space for your hips. This will help with stability and balance. Keep your feet grounded, or keep your right foot grounded. Your left heel is up. And when you feel stable, inhale, rise up, high lunge. Exhale, soften your back knees, sink down a little bit lower. Check to make sure you can see your big toe so that your knee is stacked right over your ankle. You can always crawl your foot forward or stand up a little bit higher. Inhale, shrug your shoulders to your ears and then exhale, relax your shoulders down. Inhale, send your hands in front of you, bring your palms to touch. And then exhale, send your right arm back behind you as you twist to your right. Good. Take a breath here. You're always welcome to release your hands down by your sides here if that would feel better. And exhale, let your breath go. Inhale, bring your hands back to touch. Exhale, sink a little bit lower. Inhale, float your hands to the sky. And exhale, pivot your back foot down flat to the mat. Your back foot is parallelish to the short end of your mat. Your right knee tracks over towards your right pinky toe. You have somewhat of a 90 degree bend. Your arms come out to a T, your gaze is over your middle finger. Inhale, shrug your shoulders to your ears. And then exhale, relax them down and away. This is your warrior two. Press into the outside edge of your left foot to help you with balance. Press into the big ball mound of your right foot. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Good. Keep your knee bent. Inhale, flip your right hand so that your palm faces the front and sweep it up and over back behind you as your left hand comes down to your low back or the back of your left leg as you reach up and over. Reverse warrior. Your gaze can be up at your hand, somewhere in the middle or down at your leg, whichever feels best for your neck. Take one more slow and steady breath here. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands down to frame your foot. Your left heel lifts. And then step your foot back to your version of plank. Option to have your knees down here. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way down to the ground. Inhale, take your version of cobra. And then exhale, meet us back into downward facing dog. Take a nice, slow and steady breath in when you arrive. And exhale, sigh it out. Good. Inhale, sweep your left leg to the sky. And then exhale, step it forward closer over to your left hand. Separate your feet so that they are on railroad tracks or skis. Come up onto your fingertips. Your back right heel is lifted. Ground down through your front left foot. And when you feel stable, inhale, rise up, high lunge. Exhale, soften your back knee, sink down a little bit lower. Check your alignment, check to make sure your front knee is right over your front ankle. Relax and soften your face. Your back heel is lifted. This is your high lunge. Inhale, bring your hands down in front of you, palms to touch. Exhale, send your left hand back behind you as you twist towards your bent knee over to the left. Good. Take one slow and steady breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, turn back to face the front, bring your hands to touch. Exhale, can you sink a little lower? Good. Inhale, reach your arms back to the sky. Exhale, pivot your back foot so your right foot flat to the mat. Press into the outside edge of your back foot as you shoot your arms out to a T. Your gaze is over your middle finger. Warrior two. Your left knee presses out to the left. Your hips draw down towards the ground. Press into the outside edge of your back foot. Inhale, shrug your shoulders up to your ears. And then exhale, relax them down. Stand strong in your beautiful warrior too. Good.
keep your knee bent. Inhale, flip your left hand up so that palm faces the ceiling and reach your left hand back behind you as your right hand travels down the back of your right leg or takes a half bind behind your low back. Breathe into your side body. You got it. One more slow and easy breath in. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands down to frame your foot. And then step back into your version of plank. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale to your version of cobra. And then exhale, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, look forward to your hands and walk your feet forward. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Allow your head to hang heavy here. If it feels good, you may want to reach for opposite elbows and find a little movement rocking from side to side. Gently shake your head no. Gently nod your head yes. Relax any tension or stress and allow it to simply roll off your back here. Return back to stillness. Release your hands down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Find length for your spine, back body. And then exhale, fold forward over your legs. Good. Inhale, plant your hands down to the ground, lower one knee at a time, and then exhale, make your way flat onto your bottom. Good. Extend your out, legs out long in front of you, give them a little shake, a little wiggle, and then draw your right knee into your chest, give it a squeeze, and then exhale, allow your right knee out to the side. If you have a blanket or a block here, you can place it underneath your right knee. Your left foot is flexed and active. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And exhale, hinge forward from your hips. Notice how far you can go with a flat back. And then when you feel ready, allow yourself to round and relax forward towards your leg here. If you have support or props, you're welcome to place your arms on blocks here, or you could place a pillow or blanket across your leg to get a little more height. Wherever you are, Continue to breathe. Invite softness and ease into your face and into your neck and back body. If there's a lot of tension in your left leg, you can always take a soft bend in your left leg. Good. Take one more slow and steady breath here. And exhale, let it go. Inhale very slowly, start to push yourself upright. Exhale, help your right knee up right. Plant your right foot down onto the mat. You're welcome to keep your right foot here, or you can cross your right foot over your left leg. If you decide to cross your right foot over, press into the big ball mound of your right foot. This will start to create more engagement in your inner thighs. You can release your right hand back behind you, close to your body, similar to like a kickstand. Inhale, sweep your left hand to the sky, and exhale, either wrap around your right knee or thread it through your thigh and your calf as you twist. Or you can always hook your left elbow to the outside of your right knee for your twist. Stay here in your twist. Inhale, push into the ground, lift up. And then exhale, twist as you look back over your right shoulder. Continue to keep your left foot flexed and active. Good. Take one more slow and steady breath here. And then exhale, unwind your body and extend your legs out long. Give them a little shake, a little wiggle. Inhale, draw your left knee into your chest, give it a squeeze, sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, lower your left knee out to the side. Your right foot is active and flexed back towards your face. Your left foot can be anywhere along your inner thigh here. And of course, you're welcome to add a support here underneath the knee 
if you'd like a little more height. Inhale, lift up nice and tall. Exhale, hinge forward from your hips as you start to crawl your chest forward to your shin or towards your thigh. Notice how far you can go with a flat back. Inhale, find a little more length. And then exhale, see if you can sink your heart a little bit closer. Allow your back to round when you feel ready. Your chin can come slip closer in toward your chest. You can relax your jaw, relax your face. Stay with your breath. Take one more slow and steady breath in. And then exhale, let it go. Inhale very slowly, start to push yourself back upright. Exhale, help your left knee up off of the ground. And either keep your foot here, rooted down into the mat, or you can take your left foot and cross it over your right. If you choose to cross over your right foot, see if you can press down into the big ball mound of your left foot to engage your inner thighs. Take your left hand back behind your body, close to you. Use it as a kickstand. Inhale, sweep your right hand to the sky. And exhale, either wrap it around your bent knee or thread it in between. Or of course, you can always hook your right elbow to the outside of your left knee as you twist. Inhale, find some length, push into your back hand to help your spine feel a little bit taller. And then exhale, twist as you look back over your left shoulder. Perhaps your left shoulder rolls back onto your back. And exhale, continue to twist. Take one more slow and steady breath wherever you are. And then exhale, let it go, unwind, return back to center, uncross your legs and extend them out long, give them a little shake, a little wiggle. Draw the soles of your feet together and keep them a little bit further out from your body so you create a bit of a diamond shape. Hold on to your knees or your ankles. Inhale, pull your heart forward as you create that arch in your back. And then exhale, round through your back as you tuck your chin to your chest. Slightly pull on your knees. Good. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And this time exhale, fold forward from your hips. Notice how far you can go without rounding through your back. Take a nice slow and steady breath in. Find some more length. Exhale, see if you can go a little bit deeper. And whenever you feel ready, allow yourself to fold and relax forward over your legs or feet. You're welcome, of course, to always have props here, a block or bolster or pillow under, on top of your feet or across your legs you can feel really supportive here. Breathe into those areas that feel a little tense or tight. See if you can soften and calm your face, relax your shoulders. Stay with your breath. Inhale very slowly. Start to push yourself up right. Exhale, bring your hands to your knees and help them upright. And gently scoot to forward to the front of your mat so that your toes come up to the top so you have enough space to lie down. Inhale, shift forward, and then exhale, slowly start to roll yourself all the way down onto your back as slow as possible. At any point, you're also welcome to have your hands behind you and roll yourself all the way down flat onto your back. When you arrive, if it feels nice, you can reach your hands either overhead or up overhead behind you to take a nice full body stretch and then bend one knee, draw it into your chest, and then the other. Bring your hands to your knees, 
and inhale, press your knees forward, and exhale, separate your knees out to opposite sides, and bring them back in, close towards your body. Inhale, push them out away from you, and separate them, and then exhale, draw them in, and press them together. You're making circles with your knees here in opposite directions. Find a couple more rounds of these circles. And then when you feel ready, go ahead and reverse the directions. So have them in close to your body and press them out. And then shift them forward and together. Stay here for a few more rounds to even out. Notice how it feels on your hips. Complete one more full circle at your own pace. And then hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. And if it feels good, you may want to gently rock your hips from side to side and massage out your low back. Go ahead and plant your right foot flat to the mat. Draw your left knee into your chest. Give it a squeeze. If this feels good, you can extend your right leg long for more sensation. You can roll out your left toes, ankle, wiggle your foot here if that feels nice. And then take your right hand, palm face down. As you start to press your left knee out and over to the right for a supine twist. Your left hand can come out to a T. Your right hand could come out onto your knee if you'd like some more weight on your twist here your gaze can stay up at the ceiling or come over towards your left hand for a little bit more twist in your neck if it feels good you could always pick up your hips and move them slightly over to the left until you feel that twist feels right for your body today Stay here for one more slow and steady breath in. And exhale, release out all the air. <sighs> Inhale, roll back flat onto your mat. Draw your left knee back in towards your body. And then plant your left foot back onto the mat. Bend your right knee. Shift your weight so that you're back into the middle of your mat if you move. Inhale, draw your right knee into your chest. Give it a squeeze. If this feels fine and you would like more sensation, extend your left leg out long onto the ground. And you're welcome here to roll out your right ankle, your right toes, if that feels good. And this time, extend your right hand long on the mat. Take your left hand to your right knee and cross it over your body. Your hips may pick up and shift a little bit slightly over to the right for your twist. Your gaze can stay up at the ceiling or go over towards your right hand to add that stretch into your neck. If your knee is bent here, you can obviously extend it out long or keep your knees together. I did not offer this variation on the other side, but if that feels more supportive for your back, you can always have both knees bent together. Reconnect to your breath. Feel your breath as it travels along your spine and your twist. Take one more slow and steady breath wherever you are. Exhale, let it go completely. Inhale, roll back flat onto your mat. And then exhale, release your right leg long onto the ground. Inhale, stretch your arms up overhead. Take a nice full body stretch here. And then exhale, bend your knees, plant your feet. 
Draw them underneath your knees so that if you reach down, you may be able to touch your heels with your fingertips. It's okay if you can't. Sometimes it's simply anatomy of how long your arms and torso is here. Wherever you are, inhale, press into your feet. Gently start to lift your hips up off of the ground. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your inner thighs together, shoot your knees forward. Press into your palms to help you find a little bit more lift. And then exhale, slowly lower your hips down flat onto the mat. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, press into your feet, lift your hips up off of the ground. Press your hands down. Or if you'd like, you could interlace your hands and start to crawl your shoulders underneath your back to open up through your chest. Separate the space between your chin and your chest. Relax your jaw, relax your face. Continue to keep your glutes squeezed, your inner thighs engaged. If your hands are interlaced, go ahead and release them out to the side. And exhale, lower down with control, flat back onto your mat. Good. Inhale, bend your knees, draw them into your chest. Exhale, separate your knees so that they come out wider than your hips. Inhale, flex your feet so that the bottoms of your feet press up towards the ceiling. Reach around for the back of your thighs here, your ankles, or you could always take peace fingers around your big toes. Or you could always have your hands on the outside or inside edges of your foot for your happy baby. If it feels nice, you can invite in a little gentle rock from side to side. If you're moving, return back to stillness. Inhale, see if you can draw your tailbone flat to the mat. And then exhale, slightly tuck your chin to your chest. Find a little more length in your spine, your back body. Take a breath in. And then exhale. Draw your knees closer towards your underarms here for your happy baby. You could also bend and straighten one leg if this feels nice for you. Or straighten both legs at the same time. Stay here for a few more rounds of breath. Take one more slow and steady breath in. Exhale, let it go. Release your hands around your feet or your legs and plant your feet back flat to the mat. And separate your feet so that they're as wide as your yoga mat. Bring your arms out to the sides. Take a breath in. And exhale, lower your knees to the right. Inhale, bring your knees back to center. And exhale, lower your knees to the left. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, lower your knees to the right. Inhale to center. And exhale to the left, good. Inhale, bring your knees back to center and extend your legs out long. If it feels good, you can take a nice full body stretch here. And then allow your arms to either rest somewhere alongside your body or on your body or up overhead if that feels good. Allow your eyes to soften down or fully close. Bring your attention to the space between your eyebrows. See if you can invite in a little softness, a little ease. Relax your cheeks. Soften your jaw. Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Allow your molars to separate slightly. Relax your back body. Allow it to feel completely supported by the ground beneath you. Release any effort here. And relax on purpose, Shavasana.
gently and you begin to bring your awareness back in your physical body. Invite in a little gentle movement. You can wiggle your fingers and your toes. If your legs are out long, go ahead and bend your knees and bring your feet flat to the mat. Sweep your right arm back behind you like you're taking a backstroke. And then exhale, bend your elbow and turn to roll over onto your right side. Use your bicep and your forearm to cradle and support your head. Allow your gaze to continue to be soft. Take a moment to check in, notice how you feel. Is it the same? Is it different? There's no wrong answer here, just simply checking in. And when you feel ready, very slowly start to push yourself upright. Continue to keep your soft gaze. And join me in a seated shape of your choice. It calls to you, bring your hands together, palms to touch at the center of your chest. Take a slight bow of your chin to your chest. Reconnect to your intention that you set at the beginning of class today. Is this an intention that you'd like to carry out through the rest of your day? Or perhaps you'd like to change it to something else. I encourage you to do so now. Let's take one final slow and steady breath together in through your nose seal it in your intention and then exhale sigh it out the love light in me bows to the love light in each of you namaste thank you so much for joining me for today's 45 minute stretch and breathe yoga class if you made it this far, please leave a comment down below. Let me know how this felt on your body, how you're feeling right now. And if you like the video, be sure to hit that like. It really does a lot to help the content here on the channel. So thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.